We've talked so much about diet and exercise when it comes to controlling your weight here on this program. Uh, I think maybe we missed something very, very basic. Where's your head at in all this? Well, Maggie Wild uh, not only talks about that, but she's written a book on it. Uh, she calls herself a potentialist, and I, I think you'll understand when you meet Maggie, it's all about reaching your full potential and starting with what's going on up here. So, Maggie, great to see you here this morning. Uh, the book is Mind Potential, Unzip the Fat Suit Using Your Mind. Yes. Now, uh, initially, you know, you've had this reaction, I'm sure, how many hundreds of times from folks who go, oh, well, come on just using your head, but explain why just visualizing things the way you want them to be as if they already were, what that does to your, the process. When we go into a state of visualization, which is like a self-hypnotic state, so you're slowing the brain waves down so that we can activate what's called the learning state. So a self-hypnotic state, which is the types of techniques that we teach in this book, is the state in which the brain learns. So when we add feelings and sensations to our visualization, when we activate movement in our body, in our mind, then the same muscles in the body fire as if we were physically doing what we were doing. So when you come upon a situation, for example, if you have fully visualized and really thought about this, felt it, imagine what it felt like, what it smelled like, what it sounded like, what it looked like to be the body that you want to have, when you come upon, for example, a piece of cheesecake, your reaction to that is physically different because of this preconditioning in your mind. Explain yes. that. Well, there's more than just the, the visualization of imagining the body slim and healthy. That's the, the part that's laying the foundation, the neural pathways that we need in the emotional part of the brain that we need in order to want to do these things, to create the right hormones in our system to make us feel motivated. But there's also a part of the brain that handles our cravings, our desires, our addictions to food, alcohol, all of those things. And there's a technique in the book that we talk about which interrupts those cravings. So the neural pathway, it's like activating a light switch on the wall. When we see the sugar or we see the chocolate or the donut or the whatever it is that we're attracted to, the, the neural pathway that causes the craving and the desire for it is activated. An electrical surge flows through the brain. What we do is show you how you can switch that off. So you just don't want it anymore. Yeah, it's, it, it's so scientifically sound uh, and, and so simple, yet it is so often overlooked. But this doesn't just apply to, to weight loss and physical fitness. This is how we function on a daily basis anyway. Yes. It either happens accidentally or you take charge of it and do it deliberately. And the way we function on a daily basis is pre-programmed by what we've learned as a child, what we learned at school, what we learned by the, the caregivers around us, and the habits and the behaviours and the belief systems that we picked up. And so each of those things, each of those belief systems and emotions and habits are just neural pathways. They're electrical surges that cause us to feel impulsed to do something. And just as we can switch off a craving, we can switch off unhealthy thoughts, sabotaging thoughts, procrastination thoughts. Talk about the sabotaging thoughts for a second because just the way we uh, self-talk, even if we joke, yeah. uh, you know, I, and I do it all the time on the air, I'm, I'm more guilty of this than anybody else I know, which was just self-affirming, um, <laughs> so I'm going to do it yes. again now. <laughs> We say things like, oh my gosh, I'm such a lardo, you know, I really uh, uh, I need to lose this weight, but I just can't because I, I just love yes. to eat. Um, even when we're joking, that has an effect long term, doesn't, doesn't if it? If there's an element of you that believes it ah. at the deeper level and there's an emotional connection to it because that's how the brain rewires when we add emotions and sensations. So if we're trying to portray one thing but deep down, you know, we're joking about it on the surface but deep down we're going, it's so true, I'm like that, right. then the neural pathway gets stronger. However, by using the techniques that we're talking about, you can actually switch off the belief that you really believe underneath and create a different one. Again, I, I don't normally endorse things and so forth. I mean, I shy away from that. If I've tried something and I know it works, I, you know, I'll always say that on the air. But this is something that, that I was raised with yes. and, and this concept, and I, and I have studied this to some degree. I am so thoroughly convinced you know, that this is really powerful and it's the way to take charge of your life. 
I'm really going to encourage people to go to your uh, your workshop. Where, where is that? It's this weekend? We're holding it at the Eye of Buddha in San Diego. It's a free workshop from 2 to 4 p.m. on Saturday. From 2 to 4 p.m. on Saturday. The information is up there on the screen. Folks, it's just all about taking charge of your life and being in control. I mean, something or somebody or is going to be in control. Might as well be you. <laughs> That's, that's, that's so it. true. That's yeah. so true. Thank you, Maggie. It's Thank just you. a pleasure to meet you. And again, I'll remind everybody the book is Mind Potential, uh, Unzip, The Fat Suit, Using Your Mind. It's about a lot more than that. And there's a, a DVD that goes along with this as well. There's self-confidence, self self-esteem, all of it is there. And the DVD is in the back as well. Great to talk to you. Thanks so much for coming Thanks, in and Mark. sharing.